as quickly as possible, um, just so that way we can have time to work today. Um, we're gonna talk about logo animations. Am I recording? Yep. Woohoo! Yes. Okay. Um, so logo animations uh, is a pretty big thing in After Effects, motion graphics. Uh, they use it a lot. Is my After Effects opening? Um, so yeah, most likely you're going to use that a lot out in the real world, animating logos for companies. And it could just simply just be, you know, a reveal. <laughs> it could be anything, to be honest with you. Um, I'll show you a couple examples. So here's a couple examples of just some um, basic animations. Now, I'm not expecting you guys to learn these types of uh, That's just a little bit of an idea of you, what you guys could uh, start doing. Some of you have already started doing it with the lighting text. Uh, I think some of you did like the liquid uh, text and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, like you're already starting to do a little bit of uh, some of the things that you saw in there. Like the first one, that was like a liquid uh, um, animation there. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is I'll show you guys how to prepare your logo for After Effects. So it's not just these drag and drop kind of thing, okay? Um, when a client sends you something, preferably you have them 
send you an Illustrator or Photoshop file of the original logo. Um, I don't know if you guys know what Illustrator is, but pretty much every graphic designer knows what Illustrator is. Um, they use it a lot. There's a squirrel. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna open up this here. I hope I have Illustrator on this computer. I'm gonna be really upset. Download. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. So you're gonna open up Illustrator. You're gonna get your logo from your client. Um, either it would be in Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, Photoshop's a little bit different on the way you do it in Illustrator. I think Illustrator is a lot better. Uh, no. Um, I like creating uh, logos in Photoshop because I'm more familiar with it. But this is kind of how Illustrator is. If you do a lot of stuff with graphics, you'll kind of understand. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. You don't need to know Illustrator in order to get the logo. So. Here's your logo, and it's divided um, into a bunch of different sections. Sections. You got your. So this is a logo of a friend of mine. Uh, he owns a computer services uh, tech here in Cedar Falls. Not here, but in water, uh, Cedar Falls. Um, I do social media kind of type stuff, and he hosts my website. So we kind of just do stuff for free for each other. Um, so he's got each individual. Uh, layer here they got the baileys computer services here's computer toolbox all that jazz so you're going to go up to layers and you're going to see all the section um i have it already done shoot i should probably have it so i can show you guys yeah i should shoot take a pause <laughs> let me download the original file uh So they're gonna send it to you like, it's gonna be completely unorganized. Like um, when you throw it into, give me a sec, Illustrator. Are you guys familiar with Dropbox at all? Okay, good. Everybody uses Dropbox. I don't know why. I am a Google Drive guy, but Dropbox stink. Okay, so once you import it into Illustrator, it's going to come up as one layer. All right. So what we need to do is we need to um, separate that separate each section that you want to animate. So let's say you just want to animate Bailey's. You have to separate that as one layer. Okay. Say you just want to uh, animate computer services or computer services. Uh, so you want to animate. So unfortunately, his logo is like there's two pieces. Um, so the, the designer on Fiverr just designed like half of it. I was hoping he, the tool would be separated and this would be separated, uh, so I could like have these come in, fly in or something. It'd be cool, but they're not, so we can't do that. Um, but I think it's like cut in half. It's weird. Um, so each one that you want to. Uh, animate has to be in, on its individual layer. Okay, so we're going to do that real quick here. So it comes up like this layer one, and it's going to be grouped depending on who made them. Um, You're recording this, right? Yes, I am. I should okay, because I don't have Illustrator currently installed. It's that's installing okay. right now. So I'll have to go back and watch it and then. Yeah, that's fine. So it's going to be uh, in groups, and then he, as you can see here, here's the groups, the groups of the text right here. If you unhide that, there they are, the group of the whole logo. And if you drag down a more, you'll see the words of the text. The line is also in the text. Okay. Uh, if you do the same thing on the drop down here, you'll see the gray circle and the logo and if you drop down on the logo you'll see each individual part and unfortunately the tools were not an individual but whatever uh it was made on fiverr so that's kind of how what sometimes you get when you have a design on fiverr 
Okay. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll just keep his logo, the inside of his logo, uh, the same, just to not confuse anybody. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. So right down on this drop down here is create new layer. And there's our layer two. Okay. So let's just make layer two our text. So double click in there and we're just going to put text. Okay. So we want to separate our text. So let's start with Bailey's. And we're just literally going to Click on, highlight it, go to this, uh, oops, this uh, menu right up here. And we're gonna release two layers. And then this will happen and you'll see all this jazz. And then what you're gonna do is just drag it and put it into the text. So that's one whole layer, okay? And you're going to do exactly that same thing for every other uh, thing you want to animate. Okay, so let's say we want to animate computer services. So let's create a new layer. I'm going to put text to. Usually you would say what it is, but I'm just for time's sake. So is that, oops. What is that? Why is it doing that? Okay, so then we'll highlight both of these. Release to layers. And then drag that to text two. Same with this guy right here. Release to layers. Oops, Command Z, drag that to text too. Okay. Um, and then once we got that, there's the logo. Uh, do we want to keep that as a whole? Yeah, might as well. We'll just do a simple text animation. So once you have all that separated, and you can even rename this logo. You have it separated into each and every layer. So there's three layers right here, okay? So now all you gotta do is command S or save. Okay, so what you'll do, do not forget this. This is the most important part, or it won't work. File, save as, okay? You want the pop-up, that pop-up to pop up, okay? And you're going to save it as an Illustrator file wherever you want it to go. Click that drop down right here, that little drop down on a Mac. I think it's a little bit different on PC. And then, it's not showing it, what the heck? Eh, why aren't you letting me click? Save it to our new folder. Well, that really messes everything up. I need to save it as a Let's check if it works, I guess. I know my other one will My other one will work. And you just press OK. OK. So now you can open up After Effects. New composition. Uh, sometimes people like to do 4K, just in case. We'll just do a 4K. OK, now we're in After Effects. We're going to go into our project panel. We're going to import that file. No. 
Nope. Nope. Logo. Oops. Cancel. Import that file. Oh, that's where it's at. Sorry. Uh, so you save as as an Illustrator template or PSD. Then when you're importing it, this is the most important thing right here. You want to do either composition or composition retain layer sizes. I always just do composition retain layer sizes. Um, either way will work. I just keep the layers the same size. It's going to import. It just imported a bunch of stuff that didn't want to import, but that's okay. We'll just delete all that. I think I highlighted a bunch of stuff. Um, oops. Didn't do it. Okay, so something happened here. So let's just delete that. Uh, Illustrator. Save as. Create composition. Oops, I forgot to check that one. We want to create composition. We want Illustrator PDF EPS sequence unchecked. Okay. There we go. That's why it didn't work. So now we have each individual layer separated. We can click, highlight them, and throw them into the timeline. Okay. Uh, with single composition, everything pretty much stays the same. Still duration. Uh, that's fine. We can always extend it. Just press OK. Then bam. Whoa, everything's all crazy. That's fine. We can uh, adjust them. So this is the logo. This is the text too, right there. And this is Bailey's Computer Services. Oh, that's because my composition window is all messed up. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. There we go. That's probably a lot better now. Let's turn those back on. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> All right, so now we'll just uh, start messing around, moving it around where we need it to be. So there's our logo. Computer services just goes right below. Try to get it as best as it, the original one was. Adjust this. So now we're ready to animate. And honestly, it could just be, oh, actually, hold up. Let me make it bigger. And now it messes everything up because, uh, uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll fix it. Yeah, well, it's because I selected all of them, and then when I was scaling it, like it just messes up a little bit. That's okay. We can just highlight them, align, and because this is, you gotta move it over just because it's uh gonna go to the middle. Let's make it smaller. 
and depending on what your project is you, you know it could just be a lower thirds type of deal that you're animating so it'd be in the lower third section or if you're doing a commercial it'd be dead center one of the two let's try to eye it because it won't exactly be since these are each individual layers if you do a line every single layer is just going to go straight to the middle but this is technically one um does that make any sense yeah okay um we're gonna put a white background on this so new solid white yes drag it to the bottom so you can unhide it it's a little pixelated it's fine it's a logo we're just trying this out Okay, so now we can start animating and that's literally like what you guys want to do. So what I'll probably do is literally everything that we've done already. There's, you know, mask reveal. Um, so we'll, we'll see, is the line separated? Okay. So I probably should have done the gray line as a separate layer, but that's okay. It's fine. We'll just uh, do what we can with it. Uh, let's start with the logo. So let's do the drop down position. Let's add a keyframe, put it to like the one frame or one second. And let's drag that. Hmm, let's drag it up. Why not? Okay. Motion blur. Let's check it out. Easy ease those. Maybe make it a little faster. Half a second. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, then we'll create a mask for that logo. Um, kind of want this to almost like bounce like a ball. I don't know why. No, that's fine. Let's not do that. And then we'll create a mask. So you solid, red or whatever color, then white. So you can see the mask. Go to your selection tool, go to where you want the uh, ball to reveal. So probably like right at the edge here. That's fine. Okay. Toggle switch so we can see where we can track map that. Alpha inverted. Bam. First, an oh, I gotta drag it up a little bit. First animation is done. Uh, maybe we'll put a little rotation to it. Um, like I said, since that logo wasn't, um, it was like two pieces, you can't do much to it. Um, so we just made it one layer. If it was like it had a, if the tools were separated when the graphic designer made it, then you can mess with the tools and make them look cool and stuff. Uh, let's just add a little bit of a rotating to it. Maybe like, well, we'll do 360. Let's see. It's a little okay, I guess. Maybe we'll drag one from. Kind of looks weird, but maybe we'll just see what it looks like after adding everything else. Okay, so let's mess with the Baileys. Um, hmm. Let's do computer services first. That's Baileys. Oops. Since it has that line, we'll use Baileys as a it will pop out like that, okay, through with the gray line. So, yeah, there we go. So let's just do a basic dissolve. So opacity, 0%. Um, we'll have this come out and then we'll start there for that. Go maybe to the frame mark, one second mark, let's see what that looks like. So you to see all your keyframes. Go so I can see everything. Uh, let's drag it out a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Easy ease them. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so now let's do the Baileys. 
when I say Bailey's, I'm thinking of like the Bailey's, uh, what is it, rum or some, some. There's the Bailey's. Also, I should probably just label it Bailey's so I know which one it is. It's fine though. Um, so let's start. Start out like right after it's done here. There. Let's go to position and we'll have it drag down. So we use the gray line as our like reveal, whatever. You guys have done this already. Go a little bit fast, maybe a couple frames. Let's see, one, three, four, five, six. Let's do five frames. See how that uh, looks. Go to the position where, where it's supposed to be, kind of eye it, see how it looks. That's probably fine. And play it through to see how the speed is. I want it a little bit faster. Bring it back a couple frames, maybe. A little bit faster, maybe. Maybe a little bit faster. Let's do, that's too fast. Okay, let's add the mask that real quick and see how that looks. Right click new in your timeline window. Oops, not adjustment layer. New solid. Drag that right to the line. So it's gonna look a little weird with that Y. I wonder if we can mess with that. We can. So let's, what did I just, what happened? There we go. Let's create a pen tool. Create a pen tool, create a mask with the pen. Let's see if this works. Let's zoom in pretty close on that. Let's go to like me right here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I don't want no stroke. Just want the line. Let's see how that should go. Let's just do it like this. Oops. Hello. I'll look a little weird, but it's fine. I'm not getting paid to do this. <laughs> well, technically I'm getting paid for this class, but not for this logo. Did you chuckle, Brady? There's no chuckling in my classroom. Just kidding. And we'll just go like that. See if that works. Take that shape layer, put it down below. Inverted. That didn't work. What did we do wrong, guys? Oh. Did something wrong. Brady, what did we do wrong? You don't know. Tiffany, what did we do wrong? Jacob? I, 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 I don't know what you did wrong. I was talking to Hallett now. <laughs> Hallett. Oh. Well, F me, I guess. It also might not work because it's a shape layer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you create this. Still doesn't work. What's that? Ah, uh, 
No. <laughs> what we'll do is just create a new solid. Um, oops. We're not going to do anything fancy like that. Can't see anything. What the heck? What? What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What happened to it? That's kind of like really weird. I'm trying to figure out how we can do this. There it goes. Maybe I didn't click that last time. Oh, oh. So what I did right there was I created a mask with the pen tool. Oh, that looks so nasty. Okay, we're gonna redo that just so you guys can see again. So pay attention. Uh, we'll make it a little bit more precise. Okay. Nasty and a bad content. So you see how the Y was like really messed up. All right, so. Let's do this real quick here. Start there. That's fine. Uh, since the, let's go down. So I saw it come out at the end a little bit. Oh, ah, what's going on? Stop. Uh, take the fill off so you can actually see what you're doing. Zoom in really close so we can be precise. It's too much. There we go. Okay, so let's have it come up so we can see how we want to go around here. Um, Start like right there, drag it, we'll see how that looks. Press Alt to maneuver this little guy and hold Alt, not just press it, you gotta hold it. Oops, my phone is blowing up. <laughs> Okay, so once we have our custom, and it's a little wonky, it's fine. Uh, custom shape, there's our custom shape. We can fill it with whatever color so you can see what you're actually looking at here. So we'll right click on the layer, go to mask, new mask, and then that, that creates the mask. So then it's just like when you create a solid and yeah, pretty much. Oops, there we go. So then now we go like normal, alpha inverted. 
Okay, so now let's go from the beginning and see what that looks like. It's a little weird. You can see a little bit of the lining there. And that's just mostly because I didn't create the gray line as an individual layer. But you can definitely do that, and I would recommend doing that. So there's a basic logo animation. Now what we'll do is we'll take our keyframes. Where is our original? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, that got far. Oops. We'll highlight our keyframes, our first two. Right click. Oh, sorry, no, just highlight them. Go to keyframe assistant. And let's just mess with the position right now. And we'll, oops, I need my selection tool. And we'll adjust them. Ah, dang it, sorry. Separate dimensions. Let's just mess with the Y because that's the only one we were touching. So now we'll just smooth it out a little bit and see how that, oh, that was really fast. Still really fast. I think I might want to make this longer. Yeah. That's one I'm adjusting. There we go. Let's drag it out a couple more frames. Here comes the sun. Wake up, Brady. So this is where in the graph editor, that's where you'll do most of your adjustments. You do your basic adjustments with your position and whatever, but you do the speed and all that kind of stuff smoothness and speed and graph it just to see what looks good. That's really fast. So let's just, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, so then we go to the next one. Which one is that? That is this one. That's just the opacity. I just messed with that one, that's it. Um, so we'll just, I wanna speed it up, I think. Track it down. See what that looks like. Whoa, whoa. I think we should add some movement to it. Yeah, we should. Uh, and also, I don't want that coming before that. Get out of the graph editor. There's. So we're gonna have to drag these out since we'd made the adjustments on the first layer. We need to drag these out and do the same with these guys because we made some adjustments. Oh, I need to make it longer than two seconds. Okay, so now let's mess with the computer services part. Well, let's change the position a little bit. Let's add some, let's add some keyframes for the position. Just drag it down just a tad. Just see a little, yeah, just a little bit of movement's fine. Oops. 
Easy to use those. Yeah, that's fine. And then these guys right here, I want to make that longer. And then I'll adjust them in the graph editor, make them a little bit faster. Separate dimensions, so you can see just the Y. what that looks like. Yeah, that's fine. It's like the final reveal. Make sure everything, each layer has motion blur on it. Um, only other thing I would probably do is, you know, let's get rid of that rotation. I think that's just messing things up. And then maybe I drag that out to one second. Yeah. So there's a basic logo animation. And a lot of people love this kind of stuff and I'll pay good money for it. Um, Well, there you go. Uh, let's go over for the people that were in late real quick, just to show you guys how to um, prep your file for After Effects. So it's not just drag and drop. Um, if it's a PSD file, you have to do a little bit more than that, um, which why not? We'll show you the PSD file, why not? Since I didn't, I didn't show you the PSD file. Uh, Photoshop, there we go. So you can have your logo in Photoshop or Illustrator. I usually do Photoshop, but um, when I create my logos, I'm just gonna create a random logo. <laughs> uh, let's just do for film and video. Yeah, that's fine. Da 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 da, -da. yay. Um, we're going to create a random logo. Uh, let's see. Let's do an ellipse tool. Let's type. Oh, I probably should have made that. Oops. So there's, this isn't really a good logo, but uh, there's a logo. Um, so what you do essentially is each of these layers, just like I showed you guys in Illustrator, you'd want, you'd want to highlight these layers, go to your file or whatever, all your layers that are inside your logo, go to your file, export layers to files. Okay. And then you want the name of it. File type PSD. That's what you want. It's PSD. You don't want anything else. Destination. Let's just do desktop. Run, and it'll go through a little thing. It'll say, oh, it's success. Yay. For obviously a bigger logo, it'll take way longer. I think mine took like 15 minutes to do the run process. It was so long. 
Um, and then let's just do a new composition, new composition. So then you open up After Effects like normal, blah, 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 blah. blah. Then right click on your project panel, import. You'd import those PSD files. Right there, there they are. And that's what you do and highlight them. Do composition, retain layer sizes, create composition, no multiple sequences, imports them. And then there, there they are. And they're in a little folder right here called untitled, whatever the name was. And then there they are. So that's pretty simple on how you import them. Um, Illustrator, I'll review that real quick. So this is Illustrator for those who came in late. Um, when you receive your logo from a client, preferably ask them to try to do a Photoshop file or Illustrator file and you want the original like design from the graphic designer okay and then when you put it into illustrator it will section out it will show you like different uh see there's the logo there's the a <laughs> uh and it'll section them out like this okay what you need to do is put them in each individual layer so i have it set right here uh, so what we're gonna do real quick is I'll, I'll restart all this. Oh, here it is. There we go. Import this. So I'll say Bailey's Computer Services just sent me this logo, and they're like, I need a, I need this logo, um, uh, animated prompt, pronto. So that's not the one, damn it. Here we go. I think that's the one. Oh, that's not the one. How about this one? There we go. So when you import it into Illustrator, this is what it's going to show you, okay? So you you got, uh, first, when you first open it up, it's going to be on the properties. You click on layers, and then you're going to see layer, layer one. And it's going to be grouped. If it's a good graphic designer, that's how they're going to have it set up. It's going to be grouped, and then it's going to be grouped into each individual um, spot. So there's your whole logo right there, and then there's your text. So to separate, what you want to do is separate each individual item that you want to animate. So there's your gray computer services, there's your gray line, and there's your Bailey's. Okay, so what we got to do is you're going to have to create a new layer right down here on the bottom right here that says create new layer. And then layer two will come up. And what you're gonna do is highlight these. Go to uh, up here on the little menu tab right there and you're gonna release the layers. And then you're gonna just simply just drag and put it into layer two. Okay, and that's just one whole layer that you're gonna animate. Now you, you could do it for whatever else that you wanna animate, so. Uh, Here's the gray line that I said about. Let's uh, create that. There's that. And then we'll, wait, what is this? Oh, that's part of it. Oh, it's two sections. Oh, look at that. So then we'll highlight them, put into layer five. We'll put gray lines. Bailey's. Okay. And you do that for the logo. Um, so I kind of just want to keep the logo by itself. If you want to separate these two, you can. You create a new layer, whatever. 
So we'd create a new layer just for the logo. Highlight that. Release the layers. Grab those. Put them to layer nine. Logo. So once you get all those done and you have them all lined up, uh, let's do the last one. Where's the last one? I got the base, gray lines. Now I just need the bottom right here. Yeah, computer services. Right click, not right click. Highlight, release the layers. And we'll create new layers. Add that to that layer. And we'll do. Oh, something got in there. Oops. Anyway, essentially, you would have all your layers all separated, organized. Save. Yes, whatever. Minimize it. Import it into After Effects. Like I showed you, right click, import, file, find that file, which I don't remember where I saved it. And then, um, was it downloads? Anyway, you'd find that file, create composition. So she's used this as an example. And then you put it composition retain layer sizes and then open and it imports. And that's essentially how you would import your logo into After Effects. And then start animating, just like normal, how you guys did animating text um, or whatever you wanted to do. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you guys. I showed you guys when you can't, some of you came in. Here's some more animated logos that you guys can look at for inspiration. There's 50 of them, so it might take Inspire a life. That's a pretty simple one. This, um, this one adds a little bit of VFX to it, you know, the frozen, the fire. So that's kind of cool. That one can simply be made in After Effects. That one was, yeah. You don't need to make it separate. And that one, what did that one do? This one's pretty cool. So look, someone, someone drew. So that that's a little bit more advanced. They create, they drew. Each individual, let me go back a little bit. Each individual uh, animation, like that, that, that. They drew that, probably handheld, because that's kind of what it looks like. Put it into Illustrator and had to separate each individual layer. I already did this. That can just be made in After Effects. You don't really need to some more VFX kind of thing. That's what I'm kind of see, wanting to see. Some more VFX. And game over, game over. Yeah. So that would 
like that was used with the saber effect. So stuff like that, you don't need to do that. Um, that's a little bit too much <laughs> for like uh, corporate style videos. Now, if you're like just trying to be like super cool and add some cool stuff, then yeah, go ahead. But like, I would not recommend doing all that for a client because that was like what? One, two, three, four, five, two. Fourteen seconds, way too long. Uh, corporate style videos or commercials, it's like five seconds. <laughs> okay. Videos like that. Ooh, some three D. this so far, so. <laughs> oh, that's a super simple one. So those ones where you see all the lines and stuff, that's just a stroke effect. You literally go in the effects and presets, put in stroke, and that's literally all that is. sound effects and that's very cr crucial in your logo animation so definitely add those as assignments um, 
you can go to freesound.org. You can, there's a lot of free sounds you can get. Um, let's see if they still have it up. I don't think they do, but they might. Oh, they do. So this is a text animation that I did for Panther Builders for their 2019 Best of the Best, and they wanted to show off three years in a row. So like I said, it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. It's just like fade-ins, some masking. Bringing them out again and then bringing them to the front. And that's it. Oh, then I added a thank you. Oh, I repeated it. Oh yeah, this is Facebook. There you go. Um, so for this assignment, it's not gonna be due till next Wednesday. Where is it? Hello. In this assignment, you will create a logo animation. The duration of the animation will be no longer than 10 seconds. You must use two effects taught in class. Um, you can use a reveal, you can use a saber effect, you can use 3D animation, pretty much whatever. I prefer you guys to either create a logo for your own business or find someone, you know, a local business or whatever and create a logo for them, like Brady. You could create a logo for your company. Um, I saw, I looked it up, it's pretty cool. So you could do the, the one on your website. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not looking just for text. I'm looking for an actual like, logo. So if you create your own, you know, you need to get some ideas, create it in Photoshop or whatever. Uh, five extra points if you create your own logo. Um, five extra points if you add any special add-ins like smoke, lightning, fog, explosion, etc. And you can get that off of uh, footage crate. You guys have the username and password. If you do not, let me know and I can send it to you. The rest of the class period, you will work on what's due on Wednesday, the parallax effect. And so go ahead and start now.